y'all. There are books everywhere in my house. Uh, books for grown-ups, books for musicians, books for people who don't like to read, books for people who do like to read, books for kids, books for squirrels. I don't, we have everything. There's books all over. Let me show you. There's books going up the wall, and there's books you're not supposed to touch above. There's books on the fake fireplace, and books next to the fake fireplace. There's books on the step underneath this weird silver... Hey, what's this dent on the wall? There's books in a basket down here. I think there's books in a basket here underneath all the stuffies. There's books in the kitchen, way up there. There's books in the basement, but I don't want to go down there right now. Why don't we go upstairs? There's books above Ella's bed. There's books next to Ella's bed. There's books above Ella's bed there. And there's probably books under her bed. There are definitely books in Molly and Amy's room. Sammy has bookshelves and she kind of uses them, but she prefers the make a big pile of books you like to read. Found some more. There's another shelf. Oh, there's some more over there too. No, oh. there's some more over there too. That's the dog. Get out of my bed. We love books in this house. And I will tell you, I did not always love to read. I actually was very behind learning to read and didn't love to read until I was an adult. But one of the things we found that, that helps kids love to read is when people read to them. So I'm going to read you a story today called Rotten and Rascal, the two terrible it says pterosaur twins, but when I read it, I like to read pterodactyl twins. I don't know what pterosaur is, but I know pterodactyl. So I'm gonna read you a story, and this story is very prudent for what's going on right now because uh, these twins, they get a little greedy. They like to do a little bit of arguing. They like to pick on each other back and forth, and neither one of them knows how to take care of the other one. I believe there's something that God can teach us about Two twins who only care about themselves. What's up with that? <laughs> you can see right away that spit coming out of the mouse. There's some yelling, yelling brothers. 65 million years ago, there was a deafening place. The world was a deafening place. There were thunderstorms, there were volcanoes, there were landslides, and there were earthquakes. But most of the noise came from Rotten and Rascal, two terrible pterodactyl twins. By day, they would yell at each other, and by night, they would shout. Come morning, they'd be screeching. By lunch, they'd be screaming. Before bed, they'd be bellowing. They never stopped. Do you know anybody like this? There's always yelling, always got that cray button on. Mm. On Tuesday, Rotten saw a fish. It's mine, yelled Rascal, and they both dived down. I saw it first, shouted Rotten. I saw it loudest, bellowed Rascal. I don't even know what that means. It's mine, screeched Rotten. No, it's not. It's mine, screamed Rascal. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Has this argument ever happened in your house? There was a hullabaloo until Slim sidled up and said, you got to have a good beak, brother. The fish should go to the one with the best beak weird advice, but okay. My beak's the sharpest, snarled Rotten. My beak's the longest, growled Rascal. No, it's not, shrieked Rotten. The fish is mine. It's mine. It's mine. And there was a horrible hollow balloon. Don't. Yeah, let's just keep going. Until Violet veered into view and said, hey man, cool down. The fish should go to the one with the best crest. My crest is the brightest, cried Rotten. My crest the biggest, howled Roscoe. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! And there was a horrible, heated hullabaloo. Now let me be clear. There's a fish. There's one of you. We are people. We are friends. We are brothers and sisters who give the fish to the other one. Love others first. Love others first. This is how God designed us. We live in the way God designs us. Things work out. God takes care of us. Well, 
need to argue like these fools. We're always worrying about where your fish is coming from. Take care of others. Take care of others. What do I want you to learn from the story? Take care of others first. Stop worrying about yourself. Until Slippery swam up and said, it's simple. The best swimmer should get the fish. You know what's about to happen? I swim fastest, shouted Rodden. I dive deepest, shrieked Rascal. No, you don't scream, Rodden. The fish is mine. And so clever, concocted, a cunning conclusion. The fish should go to the one who argues the least. I kind of like this one. I kind of do. Kind of feels a little closer to the way that God designed us to interact with people. Uh huh, uh huh. I argue less, claimed Rodden. I argue the least, argued Rascal. No, you don't, screamed Rodden. The fish is mine. It's mine! No, it's mine. And there was a horrible, heated hullabaloo and a howling hubbub. Until Buster burst in and bellowed, What's the problem? The fish should go to the toughest pterodactyl. I don't think that's helpful. I don't think that's helpful at all. I'm toughest, yelled Rodden. Can't be how rascal, cause I'm tougher. Oh yeah? Try me. So they kicked and they fought, so they both fell to the floor, too tired to talk. And for a wonderful moment, there was silence. I won, Rodden panted at last. I won, huffed rascal. No, you didn't. I won. No, you didn't. I won. And there was a horrible, hysterical, heated huddle blue and a howling hubbub. Once again, take care of others. Stop worrying so much about yourself. Oh, until Rex roared. Hey, cut the squabbling and yelling. Which of you is the fattest, the juiciest, the crunchiest, and the tasty? I'm fattest, yelled Rodden. I'm juiciest, shouted Rascal. I'm the... They really, they need to be right. They can't just let others go first. Like, really? Learn something here, guys. I'm the crunchiest, bellowed Rodden. I'm the tastiest, screamed Rascal. I, they, they, you always got to be the one who's right. And then they saw the gleam in Rex's eye. Two terrified pterodactyl twins, tongue-tied in a tyrannosaurus-shaped shadow, finally stopped fighting. Mm. They finally learned, right? Stop worrying so much about yourself. Stop always arguing. Don't argue with your mama. Don't argue with your brother and sister. Help them. Serve them. Well, that's what Jesus would call us to. But it was too late favorite part? The tongue. Little, little T-Rex there. Wait a minute. And look down at, at the bottom. Those two actually have their tongues out as well. And just in case you were wondering, they both tasted exactly the same. The story is a little creepy. It's a little not how you would expect it to be, but I love the idea of, y'all, stop worrying so much about yourself. That's not how God designed us. Take care of others. Stop arguing so much. Stop worrying about you. Put others first. Put others first. This is how God designed us to put others first. So when you're arguing with your mama about whether your room is clean or about what you should eat, that ain't how God designed you. When you're arguing with your brother and sister about whose turn it is to sit in the front seat, that ain't how God designed you. If there's one cookie left, guess who gets it? Not you. you give it to somebody else. That is okay. That's how God designed us to give and share to others.